Okay, I totally had to videotape this because, honey, I love you so much. Hold on, let me turn the TV down because I don't want I don't want to hear a bunch of TV racket in the background. I just opened a box that I got. It's like a month until Christmas. I just opened a box that I got, and honey, you sent me a living Christmas tree. Hold on, let's get a picture of the Christmas tree. There's your Christmas tree. That is the coolest. I'm telling you, this is the coolest thing ever I've ever gotten in the mail. Like, it has to be. It has to be the coolest thing I've ever gotten in the mail. It comes with little decorations and everything. This is awesome. This is totally awesome. I'm going to keep this thing alive the whole time I am out here. It will go everywhere with me if we move everything. So, anyways, the, the other reason... I like this so much. Let me explain this because everybody knows that I can't just think of things the way they actually are. I have to abstractly think of everything. I get the box and it's like totally taped up on one side like somebody had already opened it and I know that the customs people have to check this stuff when it comes in. I guarantee you the tree went through like an x-ray machine or something and they were like, we got a pot plant! somebody's in trouble and then they opened it up and they were like it's a miniature christmas tree that's great yeah it's real shocking merry christmas yeah that's great merry christmas to this guy who is this guy specialist car that's good yeah merry christmas to him and his stupid little christmas tree and the only reason we're mad is because we didn't get to take somebody's package in their little pot plant but sorry it wasn't a pot plant i wouldn't know what to do with it if it was because I've never done that stuff, so. <laughs> Anyways, here's uh, here's the other box from my mom. She gave me, she got me uh, some, let's see, some, the brownies, Little Debbie's brownies, totally, they have to have some kind of crack or something in them because they're totally addictive. Like this box right here, let's see the box. This box right here will be totally gone. And I mean, it's probably going to be gone like as soon as I get done putting the camera down. And she got me little little Rice crispy Treats. A bunch of these right here. And I'm gonna trade them to Everheart for everything. Like, Mom, your packages are always perfect because one of the guys that just came back from the fire base, he freaks over these things. I don't know why. They are they are my, one of my favorite, like, snack foods. They're really good. Like, you know me and Rice crispy Treats, I like the whole pan, Mom, but, like, those are perfect because I can trade them to this guy for, like, anything. Like, I'll be like, Hey, I think one of my kidneys is giving out. Oh, look at this box of Rice Krispie Treats I got lying around now. Like, you know, maybe two or three, you give me a kidney, and he'd, he'd already be, like, you know, trying to give himself, like, a local anesthetic and stuff, so. And the last thing, there was, uh, what else was in there? Hold on, let's see, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I really don't even know what else is in here. I saw some sweet cards. These things, these things too. Mom, your packages... I'm telling you, you are the best damn mom alive. You are the best mom ever. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. Something I can trade for... Of course, I'm going to eat a couple of those. But the brownies are totally mine. Nobody will get any. I'll break their fingers if I find out they come near my brownies. Like, it's totally on. I'll punch somebody in the neck. And that's highly against my fighting rules. You don't punch somebody in the neck on purpose because it's just sick. But if somebody comes after my brownies, I'm... I'm telling you, it's just that's just gross. You don't do it to somebody, but go after my little Debbies and see what that gets you. And uh, these are here. I mean, I'm not a big candy guy, but when you do pick candy, it's always perfect. Like, these are awesome. They're the best. They're good. I don't know what else to say. Let's see, because if these are miniature M&Ms right here, I'm refusing to look, because if these are miniature M&Ms, I'm going to shriek. I wasn't kidding. I wasn't wasn't a metaphor or anything. I really meant I was gonna shriek if they were miniature M and M's. And that's about it. And of course, uh, oh these two. I'll tell you what. These right here, not these specifically. I'll have to let you know how it goes with these because I can't stand blueberry anything. But I'll eat these because you sent them to me and I refuse to waste anything. So I'm gonna eat these. They smell really really good. The cherries by this company. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they were good. They were good, all right. The bag was gone in like three seconds. Like that's how you know something's good with me. It's like somebody turns on a vacuum switch and it's like, just picture this inside my stomach. Just picture it like that right there because that's what happens. Like I just totally, totally, totally just 
in my stomach. That's where all the crap goes. It's just everything that's good to me, I'm just like, and then I'm going, mmm, I'm satisfied. And then I look like this. Mmm, I'm satisfied. Yeah. I haven't been videotaping a lot lately. Either. That's what the deal with this is. Like, I want if Joshua is really gonna make like an awesome, awesome. It doesn't even have to be awesome. If he's gonna make a documentary at all, I'm like flattered because I think my job is ridiculous and any idiot could do what I do. So I don't know what the big deal is, but but uh, thanks for everything. That's all I have to say. So I'm gonna try and videotape a lot more. Hopefully I go out on a mission again soon, because I am very bored. Like, this is going to be like the fourth day in a row tomorrow. I haven't been out on a mission. That's quite a streak for me. I'm getting a little stir-crazy. So I'm going to uh, going to go on that note. I'm going to decorate my little Christmas tree and maybe go out on my front porch and scream for no reason, because it's like, it's like 1230 in the morning. So I love you guys. I will see everybody soon. Have fun.